Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. One of the primary applications of drones is surveillance. In this video, I'm going to show you how I added an analog camera on our drone. The system compresses of a camera and a video transmitter. These components are cheap and lightweight and can be powered by the drone's battery. On the ground control station is a matching receiver and a monitor that will receive the transmitted images and display it on the monitor. I choose analog for its cheap price and easy replacement since I'm gonna crash a lot from all my experiments in the future. First is to test the system before mounting on the drone. I plug the battery to power it up. I also powered up the video receiver on the ground control station. I then went outside and the camera seems to be working well. Now to design and print the camera bracket. I choose a basic design of pointing the camera down around 30 degrees as the primary application is for surveillance on the ground. I try to keep the design simple but functional and avoid the complexities of incorporating a gimbal for now. I'm printing parts with pit G as it is tougher than PLA and doesn't have the smell of ABS. Several hours later, the print is done. As glue stick was applied on the print bed for the parts to bond, I need to cool it on the freezer for easy removal. I then mount the camera holder on the main bracket by screwing it. I then add the camera. Now to attach the assembly on the drone. I screwed it on the drone's frame. Next is to open the drone to connect the power. I use a splitter so I could access power from the battery. Now to plug in the video transmitter.
Next is to plug the connector to camera and attach the transmitter with double-sided tape. This is what it looks like when done. I test it one more time before flying. A lot of noise but the camera still works. Now to find an open space and fly it. I have to elevate the video receiver using a tripod to maintain the line of sight with the drone. After enabling the gamepad and pressing the safety switch, the drone is armed. And fly it goes. I move further away and increase altitude, still maintaining line of sight. Oh my goodness, it's so hot here in Florida. It's just the humidity is killing me. It's hard to do these experiments when it's, uh, when it's summer, but uh, I'll try my best. Whew. So the camera actually works, but certainly needs a lot of improvement. There is so much noise that results in lost images and blue screens. Perhaps it was the antenna that was mounted horizontally which is perpendicular with the receiving antenna or it could just be the noise from the ECs that travels through the power lines. This is something to be looked into down the road. Some of you may be wondering how others capture those quality images with their DIY drones. Well, they use GoPros and action cams. They mount it on the drones and record the flight and post it on social media as it is more appealing the way. With that being said, here's the video.
Thank you guys for watching and if you like this video, please check my other videos as well.